Hey guys, Random Razor here. How's it going, guys? Got another uh, random video for you guys today. Uh, this is not really for my subscribers, but for those of you uh, viewers who are um, looking to build a pops popsicle stick for a uh, physics class or something. But anyways, this is leading towards more of the um, grade 12 uh, physics class kind of people. Um, university uh, engineering students do build this type of stuff, but um, this is mainly for high school. So if you're looking for like really specific specs, uh, you know, this might not be it for you, but anyways, for those of you people who are in the physics class in grade 12, um, one of your projects, usually one of your projects, is to build a popsicle stick to hold a certain amount of weight. Anyways, these are my rules. I have a limit of maximum of 200 sticks, has to hold 100 pounds at the most, and, um, oh, it doesn't have to hold, if it holds 80, then it holds 80, but, um, anyways, I'll get to that in a second, and, uh, 20%, at least 20% of each popsicle stick must be exposed, and um, what else? You have to have a roadway, two lane roadway, and use any type of glue, and just, uh, has to, the bridge has to span an 85 centimeter gap. So, those are my rules. Um, yours might vary, but this is what I had to do. Anyways, this uh, bridge here has 190 sticks on it, and this video, I'm just gonna give you guys some pointers and um, on how to build one of these. But anyways, um, there are mainly two types of bridges you can build, and um, one is obviously the arc, the other, the other is a truss, and you guys all know what truss bridges are, they just go like this, 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 and that. Pretty simple. Um, either one, they're great. Um, I chose arc, to me, I just chose arc uh, mostly because it was just more aesthetically pleasing. Anyways, um, how the weight's going to be uh, held on mine is, um, my teacher has like a block of like a wood that goes through the center, sits on top. He takes a bucket and has a handle on it, and the handle is going to go over that little block, and um, will hold the bucket up. Now the bucket is considered to be negligible, and he puts weights in it. Um, so whatever weight it holds, you know that's what you get. And um, even if your bridge holds like 120 pounds, you're still just going to get 100%. So the mark for the bridge is based on um, how much you can hold. So if it holds like 20 pounds, you get 20%, which is not good. It holds 100, you get 100, holds 80, holds 80, and so on. So anyways, that's how um, my bridge is going to be tested, and I built it so it can um, withstand that one purpose, to hold 100 pounds at the center. Anyways, when you're building your bridge, the first thing you want to do is make sure when you're uh, connecting your popsicle sticks um, with the joints, you want to interlock them like this. And as you can see, the strongest part of the popsicle stick is when they're uh, vertically like on the side like like that that's you guys know what I mean and um, obviously the reason for that it's uh, easier to bend a popsicle stick this way than it is to bend it this way so obviously do it this way um, now it depends on like if you can have a limited amount of popsicle sticks and you can go wild and it'll probably hold but um, I have a limit so I have to do my best anyways I made my um, first thing I want to start with is the beams and I made my beams going 2 by 3 by 2 by 3 one mistake I did make, um, because I'm holding stuff in the center, I should have made the ends three, then by two, then three, then two, then three, and so on. But um, I don't know, that's what my teacher said, and um, it still worked the way it is. So that's what I had to do. Um, you can go three by four and three by four. Uh, again, uh, depending on how much your bridge needs to hold, uh, this will suffice. Uh, type of glue you can use, I can use any type of glue, super glue, hot glue, whatever. Um, believe it or not, I have my first prototype bridge was made of hot glue and it actually held. But um, uh, one of the problems with that bridge though, I made these two sides go in all the way and therefore the block couldn't sit in there and had to sit on the side. And the, my teacher told me because it sat on the side, um, I would lose marks because most of the weight is concentrated on this side. And I don't know, that's what he said, so I'd make another one. Anyways, um, this time I used... Uh, uh, carpenter's glue, wood glue, and um, after using both, um, you know, both screws are strong. Hot glue might not be as strong as wood glue, but um, the sticks break before the joints break, so, you know, depends whatever you want to make. Anyways, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is make the uh, two beams that will hold the bridge, the main part of the bridge, and um, I use, where did I put them? Okay, I don't have them, but um, you can use these, uh, clamp things and um, some to clamp them together it doesn't have to be like a tool or anything just be a regular uh, clamp that you use to um, you know what I have an example should be in here my backpack these things I use these things here and you can buy them pretty much anywhere and um, I use these and how it works is I glue them all together and I took the clamp and clamp
clamped it like that. That left it there for a good few hours. And um, I didn't do it by one by one. I had like 20 clamps, so I could put it all together and leave it all intact. And then after a night, I can take them off. Um, I kind of, I was impatient, so I did take them off after a couple hours. Your best bet is to leave them overnight so the glue can dry um, perfectly. But, um, you know, just, you know, test it out, see what you do. But at least leave it on for an hour. And just buy lots of these so we can continue on building. Anyways, when you're done the beams, the next thing you want to do is build the arc or the uh, truss. And that's the um, part that goes all the way around. Or like that for a truss. Now, um, what I see a lot of people do is build their popsicle stick bridge like two sticks high. Um, that you know, That's okay, but you don't really need to do that. One, you're wasting sticks. And two, you're just uh, creating more joints that might fail because... Um, even though these are vertically straight up, they can still flex um, this way, and if you build it higher, you're more prone to do that. So um, you know that's just, just that's not a good thing. So try to keep it one popsicle stick high. You don't need to overdo it on making it super high, but um, you know whatever floats your boat at night. Anyways, you want to build the arc, and what I what I did was I start in the middle, and then I worked my way down from both sides. Um, your best thing to do is probably try to make a blueprint, you know, glue a bunch of pieces of paper together and make an actual size, a little trace out, and then you can, you know, kind of use that as a, a little uh, model to build your arc. Um, I eyeballed it, which is um, okay, but um, both my arcs on both sides are not perfectly, like, uh, perfectly symmetrical, so there might be a little bit, a little bends and a little funny angles, but, um, you know, mine looks good. Um, you can tell that it's not entirely perfect, so definitely I recommend a blueprint, but if you're good at eyeballing stuff, then definitely, um, you know, do what you think you can do best. So, um, yeah, once you have the uh, outside arc or truss being done, the next thing you want to do is fill the centers with um, pillars, which are these things here. At least I think that's what they're called. And um, your best thing to do is to make triangle shapes. Obviously, triangles are one of the strongest shapes uh, for um, building stuff. And the more you have, the more your arc will be a lot more stronger. And um, as, in, I, as you can see these parts here, I didn't really make out a triangle, which I should have, but I just did that for aesthetic, re aesthetic reasons. So um, as um, you guys probably can't see it, but this does bend a lot more than this part here. And obviously that's because of triangles. Anyways, um, once you fill in the insides with um, triangles, your little pillar things, next thing you want to do is, is obviously build the other side. And the other side should be a lot easier because then you can just um, use this side of the bridge and just, you know, kind of just uh, model it over top. And um, you should be done the other side in half the time. But uh, anyways, so you have both sides done. Now you need to connect the two um, sides of the bridges. The first thing I do, I use hot glue. The reason I do that is because um, hot glue dries fast and um, it just sticks a lot more quicker. Now I'm not saying you use hot glue for all the pillars, but just to connect the two sides uh, together so um, you get instant it here and you have you know everything all lined up and, vert and uh, upright to work on. So that's what I did for this part here. I glued one here, here, and two two at the bottom. So once you have that done, you want to put your lateral uh, uh, beams in. And um, I did experiment a little, and the best thing to do is triangles, triangles, triangles. This is going to be a lot, or this, is going to be a lot stronger than just this. So, you know, try and put as many triangles as you want. You can go cross seam, you can, you know, have one full triangle with one stick in the middle doesn't matter as long as you have some, some type of triangular, you know, position. And I'm running at 10 minutes here, just about. On the bottom, I didn't really bother doing um, triangle, uh, you know, beams, um, just because um, it wasn't necessary, I didn't think. And I found that these are just, putting them laterally was just strong enough. But, you know, for more security, you could probably put triangles, but um, depends how many sticks you can use and so on. Anyways, the last thing I needed to do was uh, put the road on, which is fairly simple. I kept that last. I just used hot glue, and the road doesn't really serve a purchase. You just have to have one so a car can go through, but, you know, that's just part of the rules. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope these pointers helped, and if you have any questions or comments, you know, ask away. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that's pretty much it. Um, I did test this bridge out already. It holds 100 pounds, so just to let you guys know. And I'm uh, running about 10 minutes here, so I'll see you on the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe. A peace.